Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an August monthly favorites. Um, I usually always do a favorites video. Even if I don't have a ton of favorites this month, this is the month that I've discovered a lot um, of gems in my collection, which is always really fun because I love, love, love finding stuff that I already have in my collection that, you know, I practically save money off because I'm shopping my own collection. So uh, first and foremost, we're going to start off with skincare and then we're going to move on to makeup. Then I'll move on to some clothes favorites and finally end it with like entertainment. So like TV shows and music. So if you guys would like to see what I've been enjoying for the month of August, then just keep on watching. So the first item I'm going to talk about is actually the Vanish Activated Charcoal Clay Mask which looks like this. I've previously talked about the pumpkin enzyme mask in a couple of favor videos back, but I really still love this one. However, I like doing a multi-mask, I believe is what it's called, um, which is when you do two masks at once. So maybe if you have oily skin and you wanna do something for oily skin, you can put it on your oily areas. And then if you have dry skin in some areas or just whatever you're trying to target, acne or um, large pores, you know, whatever mask does it more for your skin, you can use that there and then use another one like where you might have another problem area. So I really like these two. I like the pumpkin enzyme mask for like my whole face, but as far as like my T-zone and my pore area, I really like the activated charcoal clay mask because this one does come in a powder form. It's a little messy if I don't thin it up. But it does come in like a powder form as you guys can see so i like mixing it with other powder um mask i have the i believe it's called aztec yeah the aztec secret indian healing clay so i'll take this one i'll take like half of this and then half of that little or just like you know kind of like balance it out and i did that on my boyfriend and it really worked um well so i decided that I to try it out for myself and it just really cleaned out my pores. I'm sorry if I sound congested. I don't know why I sound like that, but um it's a really nice method. I really like the multi mask. I've been using that for ever since I've discovered it on Instagram. Um, you know, I just find that it really serves a good purpose. I know that Tarte has one that's like already sold like that, but if you have a ton of masks in your collection and you just want to use them up or you want to know like a new way to use them I really highly recommend multi-masking I think it's very helpful because you're killing two birds with one stone so yeah the activated um clay mask has actually been a lifesaver for me I really liked it and just throwing some in other masks that I have for example, I'm talking about the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask with tamarind extract and tea tree oil. So this is supposed to be really good for your skin. I really like it. I use a little bit of the clay mask to really just intensify it a little bit more. And I find that it does a lot more for my skin than just using this by itself, even though this has does a really good job. The only thing I will say about this mask, and this is another favorite for the month of August, is that I don't like the scent. It smells like Play-Doh to me. Um, it just doesn't have a very, I mean, it's not a bad scent. Maybe for a lot of people I like to smell Play-Doh, but for me, I personally don't like the scent. But because it is a very hygienic mask that just really cleanses out any oils, um, it's for blemish-prone skin, which my skin isn't I don't know if it's blemish prone, I don't know if certain things make me break out, but I really do like it for when I am breaking out. So that's why I would recommend this mask. It's really great. You can pick it up at the drugstore and Banish you can check out at BanishSkincare.com. But of course, I will leave it all linked down below. These are from Biore, I believe, and they are the Deep Cleansing No Strips. It cleans and unclogs pores. I honestly just recommend using one of these a week. Put it on your nose and then once you take the strip off go ahead and do the mask over like your pore area it does magic and your nose and your pores are just super smooth there's even one for your chin and i need to get one of those because i have a lot of just like little white bumps that i need to get rid of so moving back onto some makeup items i'm gonna start with eye stuff with eye products so this is the tarte lights camera lashes mascara this is a little sample size mascara but i really really like this mascara i'll show you guys a wand really quickly it looks like this it's just a regular wand it looks like a lot of other mascaras however it doesn't really matter what mascara i use whether it's waterproof whether it's not waterproof whether it's a really lightweight formula the brush my eyelash curler 
my eyelashes just don't really like to stay curled so I do like this mascara just for the bottom lashes usually I'm always wearing falsies so yeah it makes a difference in the bottom department but not really on the top maybe I'll try the waterproof version and see if it's any different so next is the Ardell Lash Grip eyelash adhesive and I have mine in the shade clear I don't like something that has like that's black I guess for eyelashes just because I tend to mess up a lot on my eyelashes sometimes I'll be talking to someone while I'm doing my eyelashes or I'll be watching something or listening to music so it's just better for me if I stick to something that's just going to be completely transparent once it dries which is why I really like this one this one is so so nice it really just keeps your lashes on all night I've worn this when it's really hot and I swear by this lash glue it's a really great lash glue you guys can pick it up at Sally's Beauty Supply or any other beauty store I've been getting back into red lips I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the Jordana easy liner for lips which is in the shade Sedona red but this is my favorite red lip liner has a very creamy formula it's a very nice uh, lip liner I really like it it's always been my favorite um, lip liner formula the Jordana ones are just the absolute best I've raved about these lip liners for years I just think that the cre they are the creamiest formula but they last very long on the lip it has a very matte texture to it however it just glides on super easily which is what I really enjoy with the lip liner because I don't want to keep t tugging at my lips because the lip liner is so dry and I also have chap lips sometimes and these just work with my chap lips next is the Amore matte lip creams from Alani cosmetics and I love these liquid lipsticks so so much they were the first liquid lipstick that I had ever tried and also it's great that they're from the drugstore they are only $7.99 or $8.99 at most drugstores and of course you can buy them online so I'm gonna swatch the shade beautiful for you guys which is actually the shade that I'm wearing today which is a really beautiful red they have a ton of different reds so if this isn't one for your skin tone you can totally find one that will you know satisfy your needs but that is a swatch of beautiful and I just love this lip combo so so much and of course if you guys do want a tutorial on this makeup look it's just a very coppery glittery makeup look and I really like how it came out I think the skin came out really glowy and I really like the outcome all right another favorite I have that I recently discovered I didn't use it today but I have been using this for a while now and this is the contouring blush and bronzing powder from elf cosmetics in the shade Fiji now I love the bronzer shade I don't really wear blush if you're familiar to my channel you know I don't really wear blush but I love, love, love the bronzer shade. It reminds me a lot of um, Hula by Benefit. I'm not sure if they're similar at all. This one has a much more powdery, creamy formula. Whereas Hula is just very, it's creamy, but it's a little bit more dry in a formulation. And I think it's a little bit more cool tone. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch it to tell you guys if it's even a close dupe. Um, swatching it just on my skin, it seems that Hula is way more light and that this one pulls more red however i will say that it's just a very flattering blush i've been liking it a lot it's just kind of great to discover something or use a different product that i'm not normally used to it really just lets me try everything that i have in my collection so yeah you guys can see this in action in my back to school makeup look which is also really great for just everyday makeup so if you guys haven't checked that out of course i will leave a link down below so you guys can check a really really simple makeup look and adding to that addition i have mentioned this in my summer makeup favorites but i have just been loving this highlight this is precious petals from wet and wild and i've raved about this highlight ever since i got it it's so so good you guys it's really hard to put down at least for me this is a 4.99 dollar highlighter it is one of my most favorite highlighters of all time i mean of all time it's just like nothing compares to it it doesn't look to me very cakey on the skin i feel that it melts really just into the skin and it looks really really glowy i love it even when you have worn your makeup for hours it just looks so natural and so stunning and you see that glow this is luminosity girl and it's all because of this highlighter maybe a little bit of sweat but mainly this highlighter and i just love it so so much i'm so glad that they came out with more shades i'm definitely gonna have to check them out but if you guys have not checked out the wet and wild mega glow highlighters you need to you just need to you should go to the drugstore right now 
my favorite i'm just gonna name one clothing item because i'm not really good at the clothing item stuff yet but i'll get there so the first um the, my favorite this whole entire month whenever i have bought clothes is the choker tops they are super super popular now i've seen a lot of people wear them there's super classy elegant styles of tops that have like the choker top there's dresses there's also like tube tops that have like a little choker attached to them and there are even like super casual t-shirts that have this exact same style and i completely dig it i just love it so much i don't know something about just having this open just looks so badass to me and i think it was a very clever idea maybe it's been around all this time and i just noticed it now but i just love the design i just think it's so so cute i mean i usually wear a t-shirt yes and i'm a barely big fan of t-shirts of course i love t-shirts so much but i feel like this just takes it up a notch and i just love it i'm here for it i live for it i really really like these kinds of tops and if you guys are interested in seeing what other tops i have in this style then make sure you guys check my last two clothing hauls i have been really into fashion lately i mean i love 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 makeup do not get me wrong but i've just really been into really stepping on my game when it comes to clothes and i cannot wait to just like reinvent my whole wardrobe i'm probably gonna keep my whole wardrobe to be honest because i love every single piece that i have every single time i buy a clothes item it's just something that adds to my collection i'm sorry that my dog's doing something but i love clothes recently i've just been on a bunch of clothing sites i've been watching a ton of clothing hauls amber skull if you guys have not discovered her on youtube fave youtuber of the month is amber skull she is so funny such a beautiful human being let's let's just throw that out there and i love her love 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 her fashion tips she goes from turning something super basic to turning something super super fab and i absolutely love her and i enjoy her story times on her crazy dates so if you guys have not checked her out of course i will leave everything linked down in the description box as always just check the description box anyone anything will be down there and i've also been enjoying Lee. I recently started watching Lee thanks to one of my friends on Snapchat. So yeah, um, thanks to her, I've been like obsessed with it. It's made me cry. It's made me laugh. I love Zeus. So yeah, I've been recently on Glee. Um, I'm barely on season two. So and I know that one of the main characters dies on it, um, but I'm prepared to take that in. Give me the towel. Give me another bow. those were some of my favorite songs that i've had for this month some of them are brand new also angel from fifth harmony i didn't play that but i love their performance at the vma that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already which you should be because i mean why not but yeah i'll see you guys all in the next one bye